we all know by now that to create a great surround sound experience the bare minimum okay the bare minimum format you need is 5.1 and similarly if you want to do an atmos setup the bare minimum format you need is 5.1.2 now while in both these formats 5 as a number refers to the five main speakers the point one refers to the subwoofer now cause it is in point we always consider it to be not a main number and it is something which is not of much importance but guess what that's not the actual case because to create an immersive and an impactful experience what you need to take care of is this point one which is the subwoofer and in this video i am going to help you understand how to select a subwoofer while designing your home theater system in six simple steps Now the very first thing that you need to understand while selecting a subwoofer for home theater system is to understand the room. Now your room size is going to play a very very vital role because based upon the room size you have to calculate or guess the power that you will need in that room. For instance if the room is small which is around 100 square feet then you would not need more than 100 or 150 watts of powered subwoofer. Similarly if your room is big something around 300 400 square feet then definitely what you need is at least 500 to 1000 watts of power of subwoofer. The next step in selecting a subwoofer is to understand and select the type of subwoofer. There are two main types of subwoofer, active and passive. We have done a separate video which you can check above, but to all of you, to just give a gist of it, active subwoofers are cheaper, easier and more reliable. All you have to do is just connect them to a power socket and give them a signal from the AV receiver. These subwoofers can start from as low as 100 watts and can go all the way up to 1000 watts. Similarly, passive subwoofers requires a separate power amplifier from which it will take the power or draw the power. And these subwoofers are more preferred in extremely large, you know, cinema rooms wherein you want to control the frequencies properly, but they do come at a cost. The third thing while selecting a subwoofer is to understand the various sizes of the drivers or the cones of woofer. Now, typically eight inches is the lowest size and 18 inches is the biggest size. Anywhere between that is what you can play around with based upon your room size. 8 inches can work well for a small 10 by 10 room. 10 inches is something which is very very common in most of the living rooms or media rooms. And in case you are doing a dedicated cinema room, then two subwoofers of 10 inches or 12 inches are minimum required for a room size of 350 to 400 square feet. The other element while selecting the cone is also to understand that which direction is the cone facing towards. For instance, there is a front firing subwoofer and there is a down firing subwoofer. Front firing subwoofers will hit you directly in your chest and are most preferable and I really prefer them for home cinema purposes. Down firing is also not bad in case you really want the floor to rattle. The next step to select a subwoofer is now to select the cabinet of the subwoofer. There are two main types of cabinets available. One is sealed, second one is ported. A sealed subwoofer is typically known to be very very accurate in its performance and ensures to give you a punch wherein it is required at that particular moment only. Whereas a ported subwoofer is something which is known for its power but at the same time it comes with a little bit of distortion if not calibrated properly. Now while we saw some technical aspects of subwoofer let us also understand the physical elements which are also important in selecting a subwoofer. The first one is with regards to the placement. In placement, what you have to understand that where exactly are you going to place the subwoofer? Is it going to be on the floor? Is it going to be next to your chair? Is it going to go behind the screen, in the ceiling? Because for floor options, most of the times you will restrict yourself to an active subwoofer. But if it is a passive subwoofer, you can also put it behind the screen or above in the ceiling. The second last step to select a subwoofer for your home theater system is about its performance in terms of frequency response. Now we all know that subwoofer is also preferred to call as low frequency extension because it covers a bandwidth from 20 Hz all the way up to 250 Hz. But that's not the case with all of the subwoofers. You will see subwoofer readings starting from 27 Hz, 30 Hz and they can limit themselves to 150 Hz. So that is where you have to understand that the speakers you are pairing them with what is the crossover for those speakers and what kind of frequency response are you looking for in the subwoofer that you are looking to buy. If that subwoofer requires to go as low as 17 
or 20 hertz make sure that while shopping for subwoofer you check the frequency response of that particular product and lastly the most important element while selecting a subwoofer is going to be the kind of cost or the price investment that you are willing to do a subwoofers on a typical range start from 20000 rupees for active subs and these i am talking about the entry level yamaha bic america kind of brands but whereas if you go for some of the mainstream brands you will see that their 10 inch active subwoofers will start typically from 40 to 50000 rupees now there are some good well known brands in the subwoofers which we are going to cover in some of our next videos and in that you will see that the range definitely starts beyond 80000 indian rupees as well now for a passive subwoofer the range for the subwoofer cost will be somewhere around 70 to 80000 but that's not all because in a passive subwoofer as we all know you also have to buy an additional amplifier to it which is again going to add another lakh of rupees so make sure to consider cost as a important factor while selecting a subwoofer for your dream home theater system now if this video has helped you with the basic understanding of selecting subwoofers and if you still need more help to understand that for your room and for your layout how many numbers of subwoofers are good and whether you need to go for 8 inches 10 inches 12 inches 15 inches diver size then in that case make sure to check the link above because we have got a favorite home theater design tool which is used by thousands of home cinema users across india to design their home theater systems so let us know in the comment box which are your favorite subwoofers for home theater system and why do you think so they are the favorites and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because our next video is going to be on top 5 subwoofers of 2023 that's it from my end i tanmay mehta your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya we'll see you again in the next video